Hi there folks, thanks for clicking onto my channel today. This is Cooking with Sasha China, and tonight I'm gonna to show you how I do chicken pot pie. Especially when it's cold outside, it's raining, you just wanna get a nice warm dinner in you. Nice and easy, simple as. First off, you're gonna need some chicken. How much is entirely up to you. I'm not gonna tell you how much you need because I'm just that, and his majesty is that. And we like to eat, and plus, this also does us for two dinners tonight and then two lunches tomorrow, or two dinners tomorrow. So feed a family of four, four people, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and also you need some carrots and some celery sliced up. You need an onion, but I didn't have any onions, so I just used spring onions instead. And also some garlic as well. And I've got some thyme leaves there as well. Salt and pepper seasonings. If you want to add any other seasonings, that's fine. You're also going to need some butter, flour, and milk because you're going to need that to make the sauce for the pie. Also, which I haven't got out, which I completely forgot, sorry, is some frozen peas as well. So we're going to pop that in afterwards. So first thing we're going to do is brown off our chicken. Once that's browned off nicely, set that aside into another container. We're then going to go off and fry off our carrots and celery, onions, and garlic. But we're going to put in our garlic last because obviously you've got to be careful with garlic because you don't want it to burn. And then once that's all done, also, because I'm going to do dinner tonight with um, some mashed potatoes. So currently got some potatoes that have been peeled, chopped, and in the water there. Um, once everything's all done and the sauce is made as well, I'm going to put it into my pan casserole dish. <laughs> Sorry, um, and then pop it into the oven, which is currently <laughs> which is currently preheating at the moment at two hundred, and then yeah, we'll cook that off. All right, so we're gonna do the chicken now. Okay, so while my chicken is browning off, I just want to quickly reiterate what we're gonna do. After that, we're gonna do our vegetables, onions, and garlic, um, and then what are you gonna do with the butter? and the milk and the flour. So this is where you're gonna make your creamy sauce. You're gonna get a pan, whatever pan or frying pan you wanna use, put in your butter and then let that melt down. Once that's melted down a bit more, add your flour in. You're gonna kind of make a paste, but it's almost gonna be like paste, how can I describe it? It's like a, a pastry kind of smelling looking thing. I have got a video on my channel on how to make a white sauce, so check that out. And then you're gonna slowly add in some milk. Once you've added in your milk, that's your sauce done. And then you're gonna pop that to the side. You're also gonna need, sorry I forgot to say, it was about 250 ml of water and some chicken stock, break that in. And then that's gonna add into the creamy sauce for the chicken pie as well. Okay, so once you've added in your frozen peas, you're now going to get your ready rolled puff pastry. If, <laughs> I mean, unless you want to make it from scratch, by all means make it. I personally can't. Once everything's browned off nicely, pop it into your pie container and now add in the sauce. Sauce in, now time to add your pie lid. Okay, and once you've put your pastry lid on, um, if you can do, crimp it around the edges. Obviously, I can, this is quite a shallow um, pie. I put my pastry lid on and the excess pieces, as you can see, I've tried to make a nice little <laughs> leaf, which uh, doesn't look so good. Looks more like something out of Alien, but there we go. Anyway, now you're going to pop it into your preheated oven and cook it for approximately about 35 to 40 minutes or until the pastry is golden and crispy. Alrighty, and we are done. So this was my video, Cooking with Sasha China, for my version of my chicken pot pie served with mashed potatoes. Alrighty, guys, well, thanks for clicking onto my channel today. This was Cooking with Sasha China, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.